Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, we're gonna be doing something I didn't expect to be doing, and that's planting something newish. <laughs> it's a plant I've grown here before. It's a plant that I like, really like, and I didn't expect to be buying it today, but I bought it today, and so I think I'm gonna plant it today, and this way, hopefully, you can get a good rooting in before those winter freezes and colds, and this way, hopefully, come next spring, it survives the winter, and it just looks incredible and fabulous, and that is Agara. Yes, I know. I've grown gar before here, nothing exciting. If, for those of you who remember, I have whirling butterflies gara. I planted that earlier this year. I did a couple of trim backs and it's reflowered several times and it looks absolutely wonderful. In fact, actually it looks like it's getting done with this last flowering and maybe that's the last flowering for the year. This variety is called uh, Belly Belliza Dark Pink Gara. It's an upright perennial, spacing four to 16 feet. It gets to about 20 inches high. Uh, it's not hardy in zones one through five. I don't have that problem, I'm in zone eight B. And uh, says keep moist first year. Uh, and yeah, so that that's it. This is the plant. Let's see if we can bring it any closer for you, for you so you guys can see it. That looks pretty nice. All three I grabbed, and I grabbed these from Lowe's, happened to be there for other reasons. Was not, like I said, expecting to make this purchase. And forgive the sun and the lighting, it's uh, getting close to the end of the day here. But I'm going to plant all three right in here. Uh, we're gonna, let me show you. Hopefully this will all be in shot, so we'll put one maybe closer to the back. Maybe one about there. There's a zinnia here, which, I'm sorry, Zinnia, you gotta go. It breaks my heart because it was flowering, uh, but um, yeah, it's gotta go. And we're gonna do the next one there. So sort of a curve for this clump here of the whirling butterflies. And I think this, this will look nice. Now I am gonna do something behind these, which I'll talk to you about in a moment after I get done planting these, but what do you guys think? I think this is a nice little drift right here. You got the whirling, butterflies, and then again, the Bella Za dark pink gara. I played with these garas in a couple other locations here in the garden, and I just didn't like them wherever they were. They just didn't seem to fit or click in here. They just seemed to work. So drop these into the ground. Here they are, again, the whirling butterflies and the Bella Zaza something uh, dark per pink uh, gara. I do kind of like this. I think those two might be a little too close in this one, but you know, they're still young plants. So theoretically, hopefully next year, they all sort of start meshing together just a little bit as they grow a little bit larger. There's still some space right here for me to plant some sort of annual or if I want, or something else. Who knows, maybe I'll wind up propagating one of these lovely garas. I think what I'm gonna do is right behind this group right here is plant something else. And that is three summer drummer alliums. And this way in the late spring, early summer, theoretically, they should be popping up and just flowering their little heads off. It'll, it'll add height to this little section right here of the flower garden. If you've never planted bulbs before, if you're new to gardening, when you plant a bulb, the general rule of thumb for any bulb is twice the depth of the bulb. Read the instructions, the bulbs are easy to plant. And of course, when you plant the bulb, look for the bottom of the bulb. It's usually the thing with the little hairs on the bottom. That would be your roots from last year. Plant that down. And sometimes, depending upon the bulb, there'll be a pointy side and that goes up. That's where the flower will come out of. Not always, uh, some bulbs are completely spherical. So always look for that flattish part of the bulb where the little hairs come out. Again, those are the roots from the previous year. I'm gonna take one of these babies and I'm gonna tuck it right there. Take another of the babies. So I'm sort of tucking them kind of in between these guys here. And uh, maybe we put one all the way up here. There we go. If the bulbs take, great. If the bulbs don't take, 
it's not the end of the world. The babies, that is. I would really prefer the main bulbs that I'm planting here today take. So theoretically, next spring, hopefully, or late spring, early summer, there are three massive stalks right here with nice big heads on them. Summer drummers get up to about six foot tall, which is why I like them. I really like that height. I had some in the first part of the flower garden that I did years ago, and they kind of seem to peter out. Let me cover these bulbs here with some compost. Okay. And cover back up with mulch. And as always, don't forget to water. So, as I said in the beginning of this video, it is getting late in the day, and this project is gonna wrap it up for today. If you guys have any questions, comments, etc., please leave them below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, click that bell icon to be notified when I do post a new video. And this way you can keep, uh, keep uh, following along as I do my 30 day fall blitz, as I'm trying to get a lot of things done and accomplished here in the garden. There's still so much to do. I have no idea what we're gonna do in tomorrow. Maybe more bulb planting, or maybe taking care of the climbing rose in the rose garden. I don't know quite yet. So hit that subscribe button, and I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.